In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can quickly display designs or product mockup designs on 3D models with Adobe Dimension. Adobe Dimension is a great user-friendly tool for designers that allow them to create photorealistic 3D renders. So let's begin. When you create a new scene, you are taken to this screen. Here is where you can adjust your canvas size and resolution. Here you'll see all of your tools and if you hover over them, they'll give you a brief description of what the tool does as well as the hotkeys you can use. Here you'll find your basic shapes, your 3D models, your materials, your lights, and finally your images. You can also filter by using these buttons. So let's begin the tutorial. First thing I'm gonna do is just click and drag this coffee cup. I'm gonna move it over here just by holding and dragging, and I'm gonna grab the food pouch and place it next to it. You can pick any model you want. This is just showing you an example. So you see these, these circles represent your rotation, the squares represent the scale, and the triangles represent your move. So I'm going to rotate this slightly and I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to hold shift so it scales on the X, Y, and Z axis. I'm going to scale this as well. Now that we have our 3D models, I'm going to begin with the coffee cup. So this folder, if I click on it, I see I have the cup model as well as the lid. I'm going to click on the cup. And I'm going to click this icon here, which is Place Graphic on Model. From here, you can select your designs. I'm going to select my design, and it'll place it on the model. It placed my design on the model, but as a decal. A decal is placing the image on the surface. It allows you to scale, rotate, or move the image. I'm just going to do Fill, which is going to fill the entire 3D model with my design. And from there, I'm gonna adjust the repeat and the offset to get the design I would like to show on the cup. From here, you just kind of tweak it. Perfect. Now for the lid, I'm going to place on the graphic. Next, I'm going to click the food pouch and do the same thing. And then I'm just going to adjust the fill Adjust the repeat for a scale and the offset. Now if you want to preview what this is looking like, here is your render preview. So if you click this, you'll notice you'll start getting a detailed view of what this will look like with the lights and shadows. From there, if you want to make any tweaks, you can. Now if we jump down to image, this is a really nice feature in Adobe Dimension. Let's say we want a nice background image, but we want it to look realistic. They have images for you here. When you first drag and drop, it doesn't look realistic. The cup and the pouch don't match the background. But if you click here, match image, you'll see that Adobe Dimension automatically resizes that image and the 3D models to match, as well as the lights and the camera perspective. So from here, you'll see that it actually looks like it's in this environment. The lights reflect off of this table and it's taking in the lights from the environment. The nice thing about Adobe Dimension is if you have your own background image, you can import it here. So if you click here, you can import your content. So if you have your own 3D models, background image, image as lights, materials, or graphics, you can import them here. So I'm just gonna do image as background. I'm going to select my background image and I'm going to press that button again, match image. And you'll notice the lighting changes. Now, let's say we want something lighter. This is just getting too dark. You can drag and drop one of their images on top of here. You can also make adjustments to the lights if you feel like they're too intense. Here you have your properties so you can, so you can adjust the intensity, the rotation of the lights shadow opacity, reflection opacity, and more. So once you're happy with your mock-up, we can go to the render tab. 
You can edit your file name here, choose your render quality, higher quality render slower, and if you want to just do a quick preview, you can do the low and fast, and you have your export formats. You have PSD and PNG. If you want to do something quick, I'll just do the PNG, but I recommend exporting as a Photoshop document, and I'll show you why. So you click render, and that will render in the background, and it'll alert you when your render is complete. Now let's jump into Photoshop so you can see what happens when you render a PSD. So we're in Photoshop. This is an example of a render from Adobe Dimension. So what you'll see is you have additional layers here. In these layers, you have your material selection mask, your object selection mask, and your depth information, which gives you more flexibility on how you can edit this image. We also have your rendered image, rendered image with reduced noise, your background, and just the solid color. What I also like about this selection is let's say I want to easily select just this. I can mask it here and place it on the background by itself. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with how you can edit this image. This is also nice if you just want to add copy or find different ways to present your mockups. So from here, you can save it as a JPEG, PNG, TIFF, however you want to save this. But this Photoshop document gives you a lot of flexibility on how you can edit your renders. So that's it. This is how you can quickly create photorealistic mockups of your designs by using Adobe Dimension.